welcome back to Los Angeles, day five here in California. Um, today is my last day. I fly out of a red eye tonight at 10.30. Um, and I don't really have anything planned for today. I, my voice also is definitely feeling it after the last couple of days, especially yesterday of like four years back to back. And where we were recording too, we were recording the podcast, was backstage of the For You stage. Um, so there's a lot of... <laughs> A lot of loud music, a lot of screaming people. So we had to like really yell, and project on the podcast. There's a lot of strain there. And we go to the party last night and there's a lot of loud music. And so you're trying to talk to people and you're yelling. So my voice is definitely feeling it this morning. Um, but no real, I literally have no plan for today. Um, we're all done with the podcast stuff. Um, I got to check out of here in like an hour. I'm going to run downstairs quickly now um, and grab, they have like, uh, I think it said pastries and like coffee and stuff. Hopefully there's water. So I'll go downstairs, grab some of that right now. Um, and then come back up here, clean up, pack my stuff. And then I literally have no idea. I'm about a 30 minute drive to the airport. So I'll have to call an Uber at some point. I'm trying to figure out what I want to Uber to Santa Monica and spend the day there. Maybe get a backyard bowl again. Um, or do I want to check out? I'll probably check out Melrose first and then maybe I'll Uber down to, to Santa Monica. Um, but I got to figure it out. We also have a orientation call with our building in Toronto today at um, two o'clock. So 11 o'clock here. So right at checkout. So I'm going to see if I can just chill in the lobby and do that. Um, but yeah, flight's at 1030. So I got to be at the airport around 738 ish. Um, yeah, I'm starving. So I'm going to go downstairs, see what I can snag and then come back up here. clean, And then we'll go from there. All right. Change of plans. I was one minute late to pastries and stuff this morning. Um, it's unfortunate because I love pay. I love pastries. Um, bakeries are my shit, but I know it's not bakery, but anyways, so now I'm going to take this next hour just trying to figure out what the hell to do today. Come up with some of a plan. So I'm not just wandering around Melrose with like my giant. That's the problem is I've got my big gym bag with all my clothes in it, which is kind of heavy. It's like lugging that around and taking that everywhere is a pain in the ass. So I got to kind of figure out some form of strategy. So I'm not just like wandering around somewhere. I don't know, carrying all my shit. So I know sunset Boulevard's just up that way. I think so. Maybe I'll head back there. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to hunt her down here for like an hour. I'm kind of hungry. But yeah, I got to figure it out. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to figure out a plan. And then I got to get out of here in just under like an hour or so. So, all right. I'm gonna do also, just a fun story before I forget to tell this story. I woke up this morning. And I thought this was like an animal of some kind. Because I'm so used to waking up at home and there being like a cat on the bed. But I knew I wasn't at home. And so I had an absolute freak out this morning when I thought that this was like some furry thing in my bed it's not it's just a pillow but i thought that was funny and i absolutely like oh like, shit right right when i woke up woke me up pretty quick but anyways all right i gotta figure out today and then um let's go from there all right we got a temporary plan here um, that I think is gonna go well. So checkout is here in like half an hour and then I have the orientation call with the new building. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and then from there, I'm gonna see if they'll let me just leave my bigger bag here while I go grab some food. There's this restaurant here called, not this one, this is my backup. So I'm gonna go to Fratelli's. I'm gonna try to go to Fratelli's. Um, it's just like two minutes up the road. Um, so I'm trying to have Fratelli's. And then after that, if that's full, I found this place called Wee Melrose, which is just a couple streets down. So I'm gonna either hit Fratelli's or Wee Melrose. Um, and then maybe just poke around Melrose a little bit, Melrose Ave, I think. I don't know if that's right. Um, and then after that, uh, I'm gonna hit the LA County Museum of Art. Um, it's got like the famous, let me see if I can, I don't know if I have any pictures pulled up for anymore. Oh, maybe here. It's got the, uh, like the, this, this famous, I've seen so many pictures of this. And like, there's one of those like boulder. Um, and I'm picking this one because I can walk there within half an hour. Um, I was also looking at going to maybe the observatory, I think it was. Um, but then I, I have to bus and I have no change for the bus. So um, I could walk to LA County Museum of Art. Um, and on top of that, they also have a bag check. So I can drop, check my bag so I don't have to lug it around all day. And then I think after that, I'm going to try and spend a chunk of time, like an hour or so on Melrose. Get to the museum around like on two-ish. 2 30 um spend like a couple hours there find a mexican spot to eat because that's one thing i wanted to try when i was in la is mexican food experience very good here um it's not just what i do at home obviously so i want to try and get some mexican food and then from there I'll probably just go to the airport i think you know if i spend two and a bit hours at the 
at the museum, if I get there at 2.30, if I like leave there around five, find a Mexican place to go for dinner, um, go and enjoy my dinner, not stress out too much, and then just head down to the airport. I think that sounds like a solid plan. I'm glad to have something here. Um, I'm very hungry, so um, yeah, hopefully this call with our orientation call isn't a full hour, which it's supposed to be, I think, so, but um, either way, I'm starving. I really hope they let me in my bag here because I don't want to be that dude just lugging bags around at restaurants and around Melrose, um, but we'll see, I guess. But anyway, so we have a plan in place now. We're gonna go and we're gonna tidy up the room, make sure I get everything packed, make sure everything's all good, and then after that, um, check out for orientation, Melrose, food, LA County Museum of Art, tacos, and then airport, I think, maybe. And depending on where I go for tacos, maybe I'll Uber down to Santa Monica for tacos. And then, I bet I really want another backyard bowl, bro. I'll be back. I'm coming back to LA. I don't need to force it. I'm gonna let it be that good moment the other day, and I'll have a backyard bowl next time I'm here. But yeah, so maybe I'll spend some time on the beach. To, uh, depending, I just don't want to get to the airport too early. Like I don't want to. Like I'm not. Anyway, anyway, I'm just talking now. I'm gonna tidy up in here, and then I will. Yeah, check it. <laughs> I had a couple minutes to kill, so I literally just took like the douchiest picture of my life on this couch, but I'm also in love with it. So I don't know what that says about me. Um, maybe not in love with it, not that vain, but I enjoy the picture. So I don't know what that says about me. But anyways, um, I also tried to take a picture of my disposable because I've definitely slacked on the disposable. I don't think I, I like stopped taking pictures on when I was cruising around the beach. Cause like, I need to make sure I save these for VidCon. And I, uh, yeah, I took nothing of it gone because it's like weird. It's in my bag and I'm not, it's not always easy, not easily accessible and all that stuff. And I was more focused on the podcast anyway. So I just took a disposable picture of this couch because it's like velvet and dope. I think this couch is sick. Um, but anyways, I got to go to the bathroom and then I got to get downstairs because I was like, oh, I'll just get down there for 11. But I realized the orientation is at 11. So I should probably get down there a little bit sooner. Um, it's uh, check out in 10 minutes. So I'll check out in like two seconds. And then hopefully they'll let me stick around here and jump on that call. This elevator is super sketchy. <laughs> Definitely just walked like 10 minutes in the wrong direction. So now we're going the other way to the restaurant. I don't know how I fucked the walk up this bad. It was literally like 25 minutes in each direction. And I'm out in the sun. I just grabbed, stopped at CVS. I grabbed some sunscreen, picked up a little body armor. Um, but yeah, hell of a lot further than I thought it was going to be. But that's already just added some, added some time of the day, so I don't have to kill it later. And I just saw a little bit more Melrose than I expected, but that's cool. And now begins the 30 minute walk to the art museum. It's just a pain in the ass to carry this bag with me. I debated like leaving and Ubering there and then coming back, but I figured she's I'll just carry it with me and then uh, I'll just bag check it there at the uh, at the museum. But um, only a few hours left in LA. I'm gonna enjoy the sunshine. I put the sunscreen on, as you would have seen. I mainly put that in there so Holly knows I'm not lying to her when I say I put sunscreen on. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna get back to this walk here. finally but I literally just need like a quick break so I'm just like sitting in the shade for a minute I need to get another drink at some point as well I found that random like mall so I walked through that which added some time but yeah I'm like exhausted 
uh, exhausted. But I'm gonna chill for a sec. That like boulders just over there. So I'm gonna look at that and then probably head to the head to the art museum. This is pretty cool. I not think I'd be down. I thought this was like a tourist spot. So I did not think I was gonna be like the only bun, only person down here. And I am. Like I can literally just walk like straight up to it. It's like there's no one. I think that's so sick. It's just not what I thought I'd be getting. Over here, I'm just snapped sick. Hopefully a sick disposable photo. Um, now I'll make my way into the museum. Wrapped up at the museum, I spent about three hours there, which was my goal. Um, so I'm walking just about 10 minutes of the road here to a taco, next place called El Cartel. Um, I'm gonna eat either some tacos or some burritos. The museum's cool. The two things I really want to see, which everyone comes to see is light thing and the rock thing, which are actually free. You don't actually have to pay for those. Um, but I still pulled off three hours. It's actually really, that's a lie. There was a really cool exhibit in the first building that I went to on the second, second floor. So I actually really, really enjoyed that. Um, I think I was like crashing though throughout the time, I think this this week has caught up to me um so i've only got 20 minutes or 20 percent left on the battery right now and i need to uber from this place to the airport so i'm not gonna talk for much longer um i just want to update you on on that it's pretty cool there's actually there was an oscars cinema museum um that was right next door that i didn't know about that i it was a whole separate ticket so i didn't go i wish i'd known i probably would have gone to that instead um but so i actually really did enjoy the uh, the exhibit i saw which is like all the like I don't even know how to explain it. All like the red, that stuff was cool. All right, I've made it to the airport officially. Uh, pretty much three hours before the flight, which is kind of, I was thinking too like, do I have to be three hours early if I clear customs when I get back home? But. Either way, I'd rather be more safe than sorry with this one. Um, but yeah, not a bad day. I think when you compare it to the rest of the trip, obviously a little underwhelming when I was just 
where not, nothing crazy is going on. It's just me stubbornly trying to make LA a walking city by walking everywhere in the hot sun all day. Um, I was definitely wiped in the uh, in the art gallery for sure. Um, but yeah, but I'm at the airport now just charging up my phone because it was literally at 2%. It hasn't dropped that fast from 20% ever. And so I'm like sitting at this, at the, uh, at the top place and it's just like slowly going down. I'm like watching for this Uber driver to get here. Or I'd called it because I was worried it was gonna die before I could call anybody. Um, so I just came to the airport now. And like I said, just charge my phone then I'll go through security once I have enough to show my boarding pass and everything. I gotta fill out a ride can as well before I leave. So I gotta do that, I'll probably do that now. Um, but yeah, the journey home starts now. I just, I don't think, if, I don't know if you can tell how tight this is. I'm so stoked I got this to fit. I didn't think that was gonna happen. The battle will be found a way. Um, I just hoping it doesn't break open when it goes through security because it is this tight. Through security, it honestly took only like 10 minutes, maybe 10 minutes probably max. Um, so I'm through now, I got like two and a half hours to kill. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna find the gate, make sure I know where it is, and then I don't know, clear something out. Quick little outfit change to be a little more comfy on the flight. We have killed some time by doom scrolling for like an hour and a half. Um, the flight boards in like, I don't know if it boards at 10.30, but at least at 10.30. So I'll probably board soon, so I'm gonna make my way to the gate now. And then hopefully you just fall right asleep because I'm exhausted and that'll make the flight go a lot quicker. Good thing I decided to go to the gate. As I was getting up here, they just paged me to the gate. Probably because I checked in online for some reason. I don't know. It happened on the way down too. back in Toronto. I've cleared customs more than enough time. My flight's delayed like 45 minutes, so cleared customs, and now I'm just kind of killing time until the next flight home, and I'm exhausted. My chatty ass made a friend on the plane, super cool guy to me, and uh, so we chatted like two hours, and then I tried to sleep for the last three, maybe got an hour and a half, two, and then a baby started screaming pretty much the rest of the way, which is tough for the parents, obviously, but yeah, not rolling on a ton of sleep right now. I'm definitely ready to get home. I am rolling on two hours to I'm crashing hard. I'm sore everywhere. My throat still hurts from yelling at VCon at the party or VidCon at the party. Um, almost, almost there. Another probably like 15 minutes till we board and then an hour and a bit till we land. I have a headache. I'm thirsty but I'm too cheap to buy water. Oh, vibes are still good though. But I am just absolutely exhausted. Oh, that's my face.